<coughs> Robert Howard, 18 year Brisbane resident. Um, the Brisbane Baylands is a very difficult site, and there's all sorts of interesting problems out there. Uh, it's been part of it's been a dump for at least 100 years. Started off, in fact, the rail yard side started off as a dump for uh, materials removed from San Francisco starting around the time of the Great Earthquake. And then we ended up with the unregulated dump on the east side. And there's also some materials in there that we don't know about because no records were kept. Um, there's been various surveys done on that area. Um, it's minus, uh, from what I've been able to find out, is that on the east side it's 100 feet, uh, sorry, 200 feet down through the bay mud to um, bedrock. It's constantly wet under there. It's also got a tidal flow. So the water level goes up and down, which has a very interesting effect. Uh, s several years back, uh, Ronald Warren Land of the USGS gave a very interesting talk about uh, an arc bacteria that lives out there. And it metabolism is based on arsenic. And its behavior changes depending on how wet it is out there. And so through the day, it cycles and its metabolism changes and part of the day is outputting uh, a, ga a gaseous salt of arsenic. Uh, there's not much you can do about it because it pulls it out, the arsenic out of the water. So that's one of the problems out there. Uh, there's also all sorts of other toxins there, inorganic, inorganic toxins out there. Some are not known, we don't know what their interactions are. I would not want children living out there let alone adults, because of this. Talking about CO2 problems, you're going to have a lot of expenses from CO2 problems, you're going to have a lot of expenses from illnesses caused by that. Uh, from what has been proposed so far in the, when I looked in the EIR, was that the area was not going to be fully remediated, it was going to be capped. So the problem is, caps get, per, get pierced over time. Uh, down on Mountain View, uh, there's a problem with one of the Google buildings that was built on, a, on top of a waste dump there where it got inundated with the toxins off the waste dump and they had to evacuate the building after people got sick. Um, there's also been talk about Caltrain moving, once it gets, elect gets further along its electrification program, wanting to move out of San Francisco, the rail yard out of San Francisco and possibly into the Brisbane Baylands. Uh, and as part of their plan for speeding up the throughput of trains, which would actually help reduce CO2 consumption because it would give people more ability to take public transport up and down the peninsula. Uh, for the housing activists, they should be going to places like Atherton, Mountain View, Menlo Park, Palo Alto, etc., down the peninsula, where they either don't allow housing, but allow a lot of office spaces to be built, more and more and more. <coughs> um, the alternative plan that was proposed by the um, Planning Commission seems to alleviate a lot of the problems with transportation uh, miles. By, because if you build housing, people don't necessarily want to work and live where they are. They keep talking about housing for people who are working somewhere else. So that's not going to reduce your transportation miles. Also, uh, I had heard there was a, also had been in the past a, a memorandum of understanding with San Francisco that housing was going to be built across the border from Bris in Brisbane in San Francisco and that businesses were going to be supplied on the uh, Brisbane side. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. The other big problem down there is the tank farm. Tank farm's not going to go away anytime soon, if ever. Uh, there's constant plumes coming off of that, both in the air and the ground, and that blows over the baylands. Uh, 
let's see. Also, what about the water allocation? Uh, there was a representative of one of the water districts saying that there wasn't, at one of the meetings sometime back, saying there wasn't any allocation of water available. Uh, recently, it's come to light that in California, the groundwater s storage situation is worse than people thought. So it turns out California had been given permission to dump uh, oil well wastewater in the incorrect, in the wrong aquifers. So they were being dumped in sweet water aquifers and contaminating the groundwater. And that's it. Thank you. Is there anyone else?